everyone, Crafting Vicky here with you and today I want to do a little journaling out of the box. Those are so fun to do and um, so I figured I was going to use one of the, the image that I didn't use for my card making because I made quite a bunch of uh, card sets. They're in my Etsy store. If you're interested, go and check them out. Um, there's quite a few and one set has these little toads. And I figured I was going to use one for my card today. So I think I'm going to use this little guy. Somebody asked a very good question uh, last week in my journaling out of the box. And that was, do I, use my, do I choose my images first or the words? And I have to admit that most of the time I choose the image. Just because I find that it's a lot easier to find the words to go with an image than to do the opposite. Um, so that's that's why. Um, okay, let me move this little paint. So this is the little guy that's going to go there. And one of the things I haven't done in a while is to use the clippings that I've got from magazines. And. Um, so I figured let's do that today instead of using the typical things that I've been using, which is uh, the, the Tim Holtz words or uh, somebody else's words. So let's, let's use stuff that would be readily available for everybody. That could be one. I just find that it's not a big word, just the talk. So that's why I want to see if there's something else that might be uh, that might be better. There's a lot of French in this uh, as well. So I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing okay, not, not, uh, just okay this week. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, so I have to, like I try to write stuff out so that it's out of my head and, and um, so that's what I've been doing and just trying to <coughs> keep focus and um, and to do a little bit of art every day and just keep it keep going Not finding anything else that um, that would go with this little guy. And it has to be quite small because obviously the card is not very big, so you don't want to have this huge uh, text. So sometimes this is the some of the part that takes a long time. is to choose the uh, the proper text. I kind of like this in the forest, dark and deep. Maybe
also finding it very difficult to be motivated uh, at work. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. So many years of it doing accounting and and now it's just I don't know. It's uh, it's harder and I'm not feeling it anymore. I think I'm gonna put the in the force. Let's go with that because I'm not finding anything else that I really like. So I've got this is the colors of the card set that I made with the little toads. So obviously um, this would go with what I want to do. But uh, um, I'm going to probably put a little bit, but I want to do other stuff as well. Um, I brought out some paints, some gold and some green because there was a lot of green in here and I've got as well some uh, some of this paper that was in a box that I've opened up and I thought maybe I could scrunch it up and glue it on and add, so this way it has added um, texture and stuff so that was my my idea here is to go and uh, just glue this down kind of you know like all scrunched up and then uh, and then I can play on top of that obviously it's gonna make gluing the little frog a little bit more difficult but I don't think it's gonna make it impossible just a little bit more difficult so I'm just gonna use this glue here good quantity to make sure that it stays this is scotch glue white glue I really want it to, to stay and not lift so Fingers are the best tool. <laughs> uh, of course, afterwards, your hands are all gooey, but hey, it's part of the fun of being creative. And uh, going to remove the excess so that I can start layering some paint. I think I might want to have some of the brown show through because it, it would go with what I'm doing. So I might not cover the entire thing. Just little bits and pieces. Some cheap brush. I've got a little bit of water, so... And this is acrylic paint. I don't really like this one. It's Palmer Paints. I got it at uh, AC Moore's, but I've never been a big fan of this paint. I much prefer Deco Art paint that I can actually find at my dollar store. This is gold also from Palmer uh, paints. I was just um, emptying out those little bottles and then I won't be purchasing anymore. But they had a great deal when I did purchase them so that's why I, I did. 
And there goes my pair of the tweezers. Put them back where they belong. Okay, so I'm gonna dry this off a little bit. the paint it's too thick it's going to take forever to dry I'm trying to spread that a bit and uh, there's a little piece left in here so let's glue this back down I like the textures on this. I don't think it's green enough, so I think I need a darker, a darker green for this. So I'm wondering if I go with some, uh, if I add some watercolor on top. my neo colors and there's a uh, this one which is the olive which I think would be good for this just gonna add it in different places and it with the brush what I was looking for and now it's too wet so I'm going to dry this off a bit and yeah, it's not turning out the way I want so what else can I put on there different uh, items just trying to figure out which one is going to be the best for this I do have some oil pastels there's n no green uh, similar to that so that's not going to work uh, got a few boxes of oil pastels the, this one is from the dollar store. This one does have darker green, however. So maybe, whoa, not a good idea. It actually lifts up the uh, the gesso on here. Yeah, it's not acting well. It's not being nice to my little card so that's not gonna work
Hmm. So now I'm going to have to put some more paint because obviously this doesn't work very well. I wonder if I put it darker, like more. If I put more of it. I can get it yeah it's darker this time just the layering of it okay so Put need to get this to dry. And then I'm thinking I want to do some stenciling or something just because it's a bit boring otherwise. And I'm wondering how I if I integrate this or not. I'm not sure anymore. I'm all over the place. Okay, so stenciling would be cool done in some black, I think. Now the question is, do I have black paint here? I do have some here. I don't want a lot of it, but just a tiny bit. Just because I like to have multiple layers of things. To a big blob instead of the nice stenciling effect. Okay, that's better. I can cover this one with the frog, so not the end of the world. Yeah, I like that better. So that's better. Now I still have some paint, so I'm going to use one of my little books here, little journal. And I'm going to add something to, to it since I've got it and I don't want to waste the black paint. This is a little book that I made in at the end, Weevilly class. I'm just gonna like, really use up the rest that I have. might as well and unify both sides of this little book. I'm going to try to do that more often if I have leftover paints instead of wasting it. Usually I try to not put too much but sometimes it does happen that you've got a little bit too much and you end up having a little bit extra like this. So a good way of using up those leftovers. I could put my little frog over what if I was to put a 
gonna put the frog over here. And this I'm gonna be cutting. I just leave it like that. I think I prefer it without that. So let's glue this little frog down. I love the texture that this paper created. I'm not happy with the paint, but these little journaling cards they're not supposed to be huge works of art they're just a way to do little bits of art very fast very quick and you know practice and ways of you to test out things without committing a huge uh, a huge space Oops. Right, here we go. There's a bit of the sticking up. Of course, I'm going to edge this entire card because that's what I do. I think it finishes it off better. This is really the last days of this pen. It's just that I, I don't want to break the, the nib of the other, but I should just go for it. Do you do that? I mean, like really try to extend your supplies to the point where it's ridiculous and they're really not working with you and you just keep on trying instead of using the new one All right, I managed to put some paint on here oh well makes it part of the the entire thing so this is my little card for you today. I will be writing in the back the uh, date as soon as it's a little bit more dry because right now if I turn it around I'm going to make a mess of my desk. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this little card and that you uh, do play. Uh, leave me comments. I love reading them and I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying uh, seeing these little cards again. And don't forget if you haven't subscribed please do so and if you want to be notified when I upload don't forget to click the little notification bell. Love you guys! Bye!